Hello and welcome, Taurus. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. This is your July um, reading. And what we'll do here, we will divide or um, the, um, the reading into sort of sections so it's a bit easier to understand. Um, so we will look at the overall energy for the month of July for the sign of Taurus before we then go into your um, emotional core, see if there's healing that needs to be happening or, or if there's love coming in, that sort of stuff. Before we then finally look at um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of July. Now, Taurians, I have to stress this. Um, we have a supermoon this month. So, um, a bit of a stronger energy, even stronger than a regular full moon. I urge you to 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 watch the um, the full moon reading because the the full moon and the super moon is on July the third. So, it, the, in the beginning of the month, you will be emotionally much more um, affected, if that makes sense, right? Really, really important. So, so if your month sort of kicks off like, whoa, what's going on here? <laughs> Right, um, it is because of the super moon, um, and um, like I said, I already recorded the um, the full moon reading. It is really, really important, especially because it's the first of four super moons, um, to not underestimate this full moon's energy and power on your sign. Um, so, and 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 understand that, please. Um, it makes sense for you to 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 watch that 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 clip and see how you can harness the energy. Um, that the supermoon is offering to you, right? So, that said, let's look at the overall energy uh, for the month of July for the sign of the bull, which is the sign of Taurus, right? Let's have a look what we got. Okay, guides asked me to put the other two uh, energies here already, and they have tons to say, so, <laughs> wow, okay. Whoa, okay. Are you ready? So, when it comes to the month of July and the sign of Taurus, what you are asked to not be is stagnant. What you are asked to not do is to procrastinate. Right? So, you have the old energy of Mars here, um, which is quite a... Um, a powerful energy but it is the energy of, of someone that says let's let's kick some let's kick some 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 ass here let's do some stuff here so the overall energy for the sign of taurus this month is to understand unless you go after what you want it's not going to just come to you right and the more you just sit there and overthink or or even burden yourself with thoughts that might go nowhere that is literally the wrong approach to your growth this month. Be proactive. Look at what it is you want. Um, look at what needs to change in any direction, either direction, um, and then um, go for it. Remember, you are the sign of the bull. Nobody messes with the bull, right? At the same time, the idea is not to be the, the bull in the China, China shop, uh, because the idea here is um, if you wait this month, um, you might overreact, if that makes sense, because you have too many thoughts. And the overall energy here for your sign is just to be proactive and say, like, okay, let me just look at where am I in the scheme of things and what should I be looking at, right? So really, really important, Torians. Um, and then when it comes to your um, emotional core, and I already mentioned the extra power of the supermoon that is happening in early July, um, this month, please don't burden yourself with endless communication to your partner, to whoever is that person that you're intimately with. Uh, um, conversely, if you're manifesting someone um, to get that, that, that job <laughs> um, of a partner, your job in the month of July is to literally just heal. 
really really important if if you could just step back a little this month rather than um again remember the overall energy for you is to be proactive but when it comes to your emotions you should be a bit more um subdued if that makes sense right so there's a bit of protection that you need uh, this month um, and uh, so don't make it worse by endless uh, conversations because there is an argumentative energy here um, to your energy this month Torian. Um, don't take it you know uh, don't don't do a, a, a 12 round boxing match if you don't have to right step back a little let your emotions come to the fore and and heal from it allow yourself to feel whatever it is you feel Pointless having 10,000 conversations about this. This is not the month where they will go somewhere. Okay, so when it comes to opportunities, then you have um, another interesting thing here because you have to think about the future. Now, the most important time that you have is now. If your now is shit, your future will be shit, right? And yet, what the guides are asking you is, is, is sort of opposition so you have um, as an energy or as energies you have introspection and you have future so what the guides are saying to you your job this month while being proactive right with everything right which is sort of more um meant to um just make sure nobody's at your back right nobody wants a million things from you just you know you you you, you make some space here that's the energy of, of of mars that's the energy of proactiveness the guides are saying to you when it comes to opportunities, be introspective. What that means is feel and remember and acknowledge what it is you really want when it comes to whatever it is that sustains you financially, for instance, right? which is what, what the opportunities here are more about, if that makes sense. Um, so first of all, allow yourself to acknowledge this is what I really want, right? And then plan the next step. So the point is, instead of just following stuff that isn't for you, and instead of just going like, oh, this one isn't working, so maybe this one is working, sort of this, this just rolling from one thing to the other, um, is it could be seen as being proactive, which is why there's a little bit of a difficulty here for you to figuring this out, and at the same time, it's not. All the guides are saying is, when anything to do with where you want to go next, um, it has to start with you reflecting and acknowledging how you really really feel about stuff okay um, and then when you know where you want to go you know, big sentence um, you have to keep an eye on the future this is where even though you know you can't you can't control anything if that makes sense it makes sense to try and project um, which trajectory you want to be on if that makes sense right so minimize the the um the energy of surprise if that makes sense and just focus on yeah this is where i really want to go and then you plan it a little better because you um, it's always better to go somewhere than to go nowhere if that makes sense right so um that actually is all i got for you this month um thank you so much for uh, for watching um you're watching thomas tower readings as always please like subscribe and share it really really does help the channel out um, and then I see you next month. Bye-bye.